Caesar Tree was released in September 1998, developed by Impression Games and published by the small, totally unknown nowadays Sierra Entertainment. It is the third installment of the Caesar series of city building games. The player takes on the role of a Roman governor, tasked with building up settlement all over the empire, all while ensuring their citizens that their needs are met and that their city is safe. You will also need to meet various goal sets and deal with various disasters, angry gods and hostile enemies. Caesar Tree is also the first of what I will call the golden age of historical city building games from impressions. We had a rapid succession of the winning formula transported to Antique, Egypt, Greece and China and other extremely successful games. The formula of course being relying on an innovative mechanism of Walker. Each building in this game offers its service by providing an NPC trotting around the city. Interestingly enough, it is somewhat possible to manipulate and calculate the trajectories that will be taken by these venerable walkers, so any experienced player will use and develop strategies to maximize the efficacy effectively transforming these games into an intricate weaving puzzle. Since the mechanism is easy to understand, I believe most players will find a kick playing around with it, even if it's not always at the highest efficiency. You will always get a positive feedback from the system, which I believe is the reason of the high success of the game and of its clones. There is a storyline available in Caesar Tree, but you will have to start from the low ranks of governing slum and scale up in a camping all the way to become the one and only. Caesar. Most missions do start the same, an empty playfield waiting for your first directions to start taking shape. You can raise down forests and lay down the groundworks of roads and aquatic that will fuel your first installations. Since you need to take care of the food supply, you will have to lay down farms on the fertile patch of lands and get some goods for your citizens by building dedicated industrial zones. Water management is well designed, you will have to build reservoirs and aqueducts, because you know, Romans, aqueducts, Romans. You connect filled reservoirs to empty ones with aqueducts, you don't really care about gravity or elevation or any other senseless engineering. Once you have filled up a reservoir, you get an underground piping grid on which you can build fountains and pathos uh, to deserve their populace. Food is slightly more complex as you will need to set down some farming plots on fertile prairies which are often extremely limited then carry the goods to granary which is then distributed to markets and will send out walkers to give the food to your citizens, a nice chain of action that you need to grasp. Religion is also of uttermost importance in Caesar Tree. You have a plethora of gods that need to be kept happy or you will suffer the rats. Going from a full scale invasion to simply vanishing goods from your warehouses, placing them on the other end will bring in tons of benefits. The game is great at telling you what you need to do with the help of the adversaries. You have a dozen of them and each are able to point out what you're doing great and what needs fine tuning. But even if you have a global idea of the problems, it can still be somewhat complex to fix them up. There is also a fairly limited military side to the game. You can create up to three different units, the legionaries and auxiliaries like javelins and mounted troops. You can order these troops around the map to attack any invading forces or send them off map to assist Caesar in his conquest around the empire. This aspect is poorly executed and more or less cumbersome to deal with, but on a campaign you have the choice between militaristic missions and peaceful ones. The main difference is that you'll be attacked often in the military ones, but the objective given are lower. The graphics are beautiful, you have an isometric view that can be rotated round and that shows well crafted buildings, although sometimes the perspective and proportions are simply wrong. 
but the animations there offer are great and helps a ton to tell which buildings are active and inactive, but there are a few buildings where the animation are very nuanced and barely noticeable. The walkers also have their unix sprites which help you see how they go around the city and also give a life good to the streets with a lot of variety of people walking around. Music is great at setting the tone. I do love the empty barren land you start with every time. You can feel the desolation as you build up. And once you have a thriving city under your control, there is always a substantial amount of noise emitted from the buildings, giving you a feeling of thriving life. Although arguably I think the music is running a bit on the short end of duration, as I tend to hear them repeatedly and quite often. But, you know, this might simply be because of the sheer amount of time this game can drain at once. Caesar Tree is a great city building game that has definitely inspired many game developers today with great direction. The legacy left after with Pharaoh, Zeus and Emperor also share a good deal of this. I have to give my appreciation to Impression Games and Sierra for their contribution to the gaming world and since Caesar Tree is now available for cheap on GOG and Steam, there is no reason to not get it and use a widescreen fix to enjoy it more than ever before. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review and if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. See you next time.